Hey guys, Ryan Robert here, and I have Raymond returning with me. Hello, everybody. How are and you? This is, yep, and this is not a pro teacher's noob. This is a follow up to our just comic reviews in general of the Batman of the Predator DC crossovers. The last one we just did, Batman Predator one and two. This time we're going to try and get a lot more out of here. So. Give, but given how recently I went over the um, Predator movies with my reviews with Ingrid, uh, is there anything you want to say about The Predator? Uh, yeah, fuck that movie. Fuck it all to hell. It sucks. It destroys everything. Until Hunting Ground saved it. Mm -hmm. Fuck that movie. It sucks. Don't Why? watch it. Why did they think that was such good changes to make to say, oh, this is the truth? Again, I said this in the review. This would have worked if this was done much earlier in the franchise where you can be more so allowable for such drastic things. No, Not no, no, 30 no, no, years. No, oh, no. No, no, no. Oh, no, no. It was, it was still fun. dumb. It was still dumb. But I'm saying you wouldn't have it be as insulting as dumping on 30 years of lore. No, th that hurts too. But no, it was still stupid from the get go. Oh, yeah. I mean,. What made them think that, oh, that's the reason why they grabbed the spines? Why did they think that? When it's been made very clear they are a pure race. They would never do this. Yeah, on top of which, even in the first film, it's clear it was a tr he was a trophy hunter. Yes. It was very clear. It was, they did a very good show, don't tell, of letting the audience know, this motherfucker is after trophies. Yes. And he is admiring the trophy. There's a whole scene where he is... Yep. He's taking the skull out of uh, Billy's corpse, and he is admiring his work. Yes, it's great. I think Billy had I, as, as much as I like Billy. I think his death was one of the weakest being off screen. And actually, that that whole sequence of events is actually kind of what inspired uh, the director of Prey to do the movie Prey or write the story for that. Right, because I'm not surprised. I actually had that feeling about that, even yeah, though he ties him more into two than he does one. I think because Predators already t did the the tie into the first film. I mean, two yeah. needs some love. Two, two, uh, two, two, Predator Two is still my favorite in the franchise because it expands upon the lore. It does because I remember the first one. It was meant to be literally the, when they when the girl was Anna was saying it's like the jungle came to life. Originally, it was supposed to be literal. Yeah, there, there was it was a bunch of different things. I mean, originally those, yeah. the, the entire script a pitch was you know supposedly as rumor has it was because. Someone pitched, you know, Rocky versus E.T. Yeah. And that was the original pitch, apparently. Yep. And I saw, even though they never released it, when they showed the covers for what would have been the, uh, when Dark Horse saw the rights, the um, Predator, the unproduced screenplay adaptation, who knows if we'll ever get that, the cover showed a plant creature. Yeah, it was, it was basically the original, or the 1950s version of The Thing. Exactly, but and back in, it would have been the jungle would have done all of it, you know, done all this. But as it went through, they realized it wasn't working. So we eventually got what we got. Well, I think but, it, was, it wasn't plausible. Well, that that too. But I think, but I think, especially back then. But yeah. I always look at Predator Two as being what we would have gotten if they had this Predator from the get go in the first movie. The way pretty they handled them. Yeah, pretty much. I mean. Uh, you haven't read the novel. I uh, the novelization for Predator Two. I have. It's a, they did some things differently. Like they really went into the mentality of that Predator because mm -hmm. he's he's um while he's blooded, he's a he's he's basically a young blood. He just got blood. Oh yeah, it's kind of like I'm positive the one from Prey had to be the same way. Yeah. Well. Well, the one from Prey. Uh. From, I guess from interviews that I've read, yeah, he's a super he's, predator, like from Predators. No. Well, he's not a super predator. He is a oh, he's of that species of that branch. No, he's a, no, he's oh, a no? Subs, no, he's a he's a different subspecies entirely. Oh, from, I from remember. Either, I said, right. No, no. The uh, from what I read are uh, in articles from the director of Prey, mm -hmm. uh, the predator, the predator from Prey, the feral predator. Let's just call him. Mm -hmm. uh, is a different subspecies entirely. All right, and he's actually a smaller one from a much hotter climate on their home world. Ah, that explains a lot more. But it just it just feels like when I saw that, it just felt like, you know, the way he was, like how he was go just going after, but like he was doing recon or anything more than anything else. And then once he went up against the brother and then he cheated, he, was, he didn't say you cheated. It's like 
you find you got a worthy opponent, one that you should have done like what was mm -hmm. done before. Take off your weapons and then fight him. But he's too chicken because he knew he wasn't going to win. Yeah. Well, no, I. Uh, that's what it felt that, like. That's what that, it felt that, like. That, that scene. That scene plays out a little differently, and I think that's a discussion for another time. Right. But. Right. But but that's what it felt like, though. It felt like. But well, okay. But what we're about to get into was this one. It's something different. That uh, question. And other since you're the more bigger expert than I am. Has there ever been cases of showing of a father and son predator working together, like the father helping the son become a man? Um, not that I'm aware of. I'm sure there are comics out there. I haven't read every single comic. I've read a right. lot of them. Right. Well, that's what this is about. Okay. The, I, I, the, the only, like, <clears throat> excuse me, the only, like, uh, where like predators work together is that there is a predator store uh, comic of uh, a couple, a female mm -hmm. and a male predator working together. Oh, that's cool. But yeah, there is actually one of those. Um, okay, I gotta ask: Did the female predator have boob armor? <laughs> um, that has varied over time, but now thanks to Predator Hunting Ground, they do now have a definitive female in, look in canon. What a predator, female predator would look like, and right. according, according to lore, females are more. Um, they're supposed to be either bigger and stronger than their male counterparts. The males are oh. just more vicious. Oh, ooh, that's interesting. That is an interesting take. Yes, they're 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 the they're bigger and stronger slightly. Not not too much bigger, of course. The the males are still big, of course. Right. But uh, uh, again, these are the unaltered ones, not like the super predator from yeah. I don't know, I mean, or the one from the predator. Oh God. Yeah. Yeah. The, that let's just forget that whatever happened please right um but yeah the uh the females were supposed to be are they've been shown to be bigger and stronger mm -hmm. and the more calmer of the species ah, that explains it that explains That's a lot why you don't see them as often is because they're the calmer of the species they still right. hunt but they're not as bloodthirsty and vicious as their males yep well, for those of you, for those of you who remember, who didn't see our last video in Batman versus Predator One, it's pretty much Predator Two, but through um, with Bam in Gotham. Although the Predator there is a lot chattier. Is that a good way of summing, is that a good way of summing it up? That's a good way of summing it up. Oh, well, uh, for the first again, mini, I'm, the first mini, the first mini. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, it was way more chattier than he should have been. Well, yeah, but, but that aside, though, it was pretty much Predator 2 in Gotham. Pretty much. And then, yeah, right. And then Bam and Brother Predator 2 was kind of the same thing, but was a basically, okay, let me rephrase it. The first mini is if, what if it was Predator 2, but you had the Predator from the first movie, a much more seasoned one and everything, mm -hmm. dealing with Batman and dealing with all the crooks. Because it did feel a lot like the first Predator in its motive and how it was acting. But then the second one is, what if you had that second Predator from Predator 2 coming to Gotham, being going bad blood because he's breaking the rules already yeah, by going after... Been... Yeah, and like I was saying about the novelization of Predator Two, that Predator, you get a really good look into that Predator's mentality. He was very like he, egotistical. Like, not uh, not egotistical. He was um he took hunting Harrigan way too far. That even the fucking elder Greyback yeah. was getting pissed at him that he was going to send guess. his yeah he, yeah he was going to send his elite the Lakers. Uh, he was going to send the Lakers. <laughs> Well, not, he was going to send one of the Lakers. I, I I forget if it was either the Boar Predator or the the Warrior. Predator. Right, I'm joking. Inside joke. Have you seen yeah, the movie, guys? Like, yeah, yeah, but but um, but what I do like with that still is that from when I, if I now tell me if I'm wrong. From what I understand, the reason why he became so obsessed was because Harrigan was out. He didn't have any tech or anything. Just on instinct alone, turned and saw him at the beginning. That's what drove him. Was that moment where he realized he saw me, but he shouldn't have seen me. How did he know? No, because he was watching him beforehand. He saw that he was, you know, a, a, a skilled fighter, cunning. Right. And when he when he did that little maneuver with the car and the sneaking around, even right. Okay, so, okay. Well, I'm going up based off because I understand some people said that was at least one of the things that drove him was that moment because he's like, I think it's the whole performance. I think it's uh, all of his interactions with Harrigan within that first five six minutes of the film is what yeah. drove him to like, this is worthy prey. 
And but but he went overboard with it because he was a too young of a blood to that he got obsessed. Yeah, I mean, up until that train scene, uh, the, pre- the even the elders like, oh, okay, you're taking, you're, you're pushing it, off. you're pushing it, but you're still getting good worthy prey because he went after. Well, um, well, yeah. Oh boy, that that was a great transition, was it? Ah, head, is it head? It, it was, but I wish I could have seen. I, I wish I could have seen. You know, the actual the fight. fight. Yeah. But yeah, the the. As soon as that train scene happened, the Elder Prince... Oh, yeah, like, all bets oh. were off. Even though that was an incredible sequence. I mean, seriously, that was just... I love that scene. And I actually rewatched Predator 2 a couple days ago. Mm-hmm. There, 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 there is something in that scene that I did had not noticed after having seen that movie hundreds of times throughout my life. What, what was that? Uh, when... Um, what's his name? Uh, Paxton's character? Paxton's character was shooting him. Yeah, he actually, he actually landed some hits. There was some green splatter of blood. Oh, I never, I never noticed it before. He hit him in the shoulder twice. Green splatter. Yeah, so I'd have to. I, 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 I like wait, and I looked at it like, wait, what? And then I rewound, rewound it. It got really close to my TV. Like, oh my god, he actually did wound him. <laughs> yeah, twice. And that's why he took. That's why he took his head. Why he took the body to take the yeah, head. Of, of all of all the people in the trade, he was the only one who who wounded him. Yeah, so he dragged him away. That's why his body wasn't there. It made more sense. Like it's something that I missed for decades. Yeah, let me guess. You saw he took the head just because he was man enough to stand up to him and everything. No, I he took the head just to fuck with Harrigan. Oh yeah, no. In this case, no. He got some hits in, so it's like, okay, you got some hits in when no one else did. You're worthy. I mean, and I, and why do I have a feeling that he also did that in part to try and impress the elders? Like I took it, like I got a worthy opponent during there. It's like because you forced it. Yep. Well, anyway, yeah. anyway, so let's finally dive in, shall we? This is written by Chuck Dixon, and um, the artwork I'll find the name in a moment. Um, but yeah, the 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 um, and it's pretty good artwork as we open up. I'm already liking the artwork here. Yeah. Now it's already it's a hot day again. Why is it always hot when the predators show up? Because their home planet is warm. Yeah, but I'm saying now, even in the city, it's always seem to be when it makes things bad, you know, the worst. But well, that's when they're most comfortable. True. I mean, they and that's something that always confused the fuck out of me because they go to other like this goes against the the third film, Predators. You know, mm-hmm. who took their prey and brought them to their little preserve planet. Yeah, which always that, that, that's the only thing that bothered me. It was like that's not very fair because again, they, and everything. And, and, of that's course, the once, and that's yeah. the thing is that they the reason why they go to their prey's home turf is to make it more challenging for them. Right. You know, they, they stack the cards in their prey's favor. Mm-hmm. So the thing about you know they come when it's hot always confused the shit. Oh, by the way, oh look okay. at that reflect. Look at the refra- the refraction. Yeah, that's pretty cool, actually. Like, um, oh, gee. Now, to make it clear, this is happening because remember, this is a father and his son, so he's trying to help make help help his son get ready for his solo um, hunt. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, these are gonna be chatty ones again. Ah, oh, shit. Not at, nowhere near chatty as the first one. But not as quiet as the second one. I am not a fan of how that predator looks right there. Yeah. That looks way too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Gossam's a war zone all year round, but summers are the worst. It is summer's the worst of the worst, Montoya. Can't believe you're drinking coffee in this heat, Harv. All these years of rotating shifts, I don't have any choice. I need cat and coffee like I need air and water. Maybe more than water. <laughs> I always like seeing Renee. Yep. Cool. Oh, she is. And and her and Bullock. I I I, I like Bullock too, but Renee has always been a personal favorite of mine since the animated series back in the nineties. Oh yeah, definitely. And one of the few cases of someone being later revealed to be a lesbian that doesn't hurt her, uh, it hurt the character. Oh no when, no, no no. When written well, unfortunately, unfortunately, oh. she is. Like when Ridley wrote her, oh God, is it just me or does John Ridley sometimes feel like I hate that she's a cop, but I am stuck with her being a cop? Yes. So much he, when he wrote her. Yeah, he's he's stuck. <laughs> like he 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 writes like he really doesn't like um, the GCPD. 
well, not just the GCPD. I think it's 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 deeper than that. I don't think he likes um... heroes. I don't think he likes superheroes. Look what he's doing with look what he's doing with Black Panther. I don't think he likes people with power. Yeah, that's what I don't think he likes. I think he doesn't like people with any kind of like that much power. Right, and, and that's why I say I don't give props. As much as they give him a lot of a loose leash, at least they keep him on a leash, unlike Marvel. Uh, I okay. guess. I mean, anyway, anyway, but yeah, they're basically they're um, yeah, it's just a little chit chat going on. Um, they're trying to figure out what caused all this. Like now, enough time has passed. That unlike the first, the second one, which was immediately after the first one, this one more time has passed. Enough that we have Tim Drake as Robin. So this is a this is a continuation of the other one. So Batman knows about predators. At this yes, point. all okay. the everything, every book we're going to go over. It's in continuity. Predator, with each other. Everything is in continuity with each other. There might be some reactions, like how they react to them being around, that might be a little different or a bit questionable. But that's because different writers. I can't. I, I would be curious to see because you know at this point, you know you would think that the Batman was involved with the Justice League and. Green Lanterns oh. and all that shit. You would think Green Lanterns would be aware of these the species. Well, we do have a Green Lantern um, aliens crossover we can get to in the future, but that's yeah, something, nothing... well, that's something we'll get to it in the future. But I, you just be like you would think, think you would think that we would be prepared for them even before they even fucking arrive. Right now, throughout all of this, Batman's trying to keep going. It's going to try and keep the secret from Tim because he doesn't want Tim to get involved because he knows Tim isn't ready. One, all right, any hunches? One I don't want to think about. Can't say I like the edge in your voice just then. Maybe I'm wrong. I hope to God I am. Well, see, this is the thing: is that I think of all the of all this uh, like monsters and like slasher villains of, of any of them. Mm-hmm. The Predator, a Predator, gives Batman the best kind of fight. Oh yeah! Let me look what happened in the last in the first one. They are both stealth fighters. They are both stupidly strong, stupidly smart, cunning. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They are literally perfectly matched to each other. Yep. It, it really is a match made in heaven, these two. Yep. Now this, no, that is not the gun you think it is. It's just a gun this guy had gotten and this predator had gotten. This is also a revolver, not a flintlock pistol. Yep, that too. I just want to make that clear, but yeah, basically hunted them hunted them down and um, took, yeah, took the gun. Predators are very long-lived species. Some can live thousands of years old. Yep. And he's giving it to his son to use on his hunt. Did you to hear use, something? Wait, wait, to use or to... To you. To you. He has a there's, bullet in there. Yes, there's bullets in there. Huh. But it, the reason why is because it's going to be... It's basically, I think they're trying to pass it off as something that this particular predator family has done as a tradition. I'm just saying it's just it's just strange. I mean, outside of the uh, the the NES, uh, yeah, the uh, the, the SNES, I know about the NES. I know. Oh, the SNES game. The SNES game of Alien vs. Predator, where the Predators actually use Colonial Marines rifles. Yeah, this is the first time I've ever actually seen. Well, the Predator, but fuck that movie. Yeah, uh, where they use oh, yeah. an actual gun. Yeah, again, I think th- they think this is all. There's, we're not obviously we're not. We're just gonna. I'm just guessing, but I think this is supposed to be a tradition that the um, With it, from father to son. Yes. So but, is that so? Is this father the same predator in the the? I days? think it. I think it is. Again, I gotta double check because there's gonna be another flashback. So this could be his because, father. Uh, yeah, it could be his father. Again, these are very long lived species. They don't actually become uh, old enough to hunt until like a hundred years old. Right, so this could be his father. I mean, this is back during when there was the buffalo and everything. So, oh yeah, this is a uh, this is like the West expansion right here. Yeah, again, we'll get more later. But yeah, like uh, like a howl or a roar or both. I'll have Harold. Harold was their mechanic they had around this point. He's the guy who betrayed Batman to Hush and then okay. got killed at the very end. Oh, I want to stop here I, just just for a second. I just want to admire how good these two look, right? In these. Oh pictures. yeah, this is a great artist. I don't. He doesn't do much work. I don't think. But not just not just Batman in that bottom right hand panel, right? This big one right here. Right that, there. Right. He looks. He looks incredible. But Tim also looks awesome. He I'm does. Saying, 
I am not a Tim Drake fan. He is my least favorite of the Robins. Oh! I no, I'm I'm not even ashamed of that. He is my least favorite of the Robins. Do you what, know me? Even beneath, even beneath Damien? Yeah, Damien's my second favorite. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Jason and Damien. Jason is my first, Damien's second, uh, only because I love how Damien interacts with John. Right. If, I, if, you didn't, if, you, I mean, guys, if you didn't have that, he'd be your least favorite. No, I, I find Drake too boring, honestly. Really? Oh, I think he's. Uh, well, I think. I don't you need think the right writer for him. You need the right writer for him. And Dick is my third only because, well. He was I the first. Well, he was the first, but the thing is, I the reason why he's he's low he's on the lower end is because I don't like how his character developed. Oh, he got older. Fair enough. Why? Because he separated. Uh, no, I. It's it's more of his uh his back and forth love triangle with Starfire and Babs. Uh well, to be fair, that came a lot later than people think it did. I know, it's just that I, it, it still happened, and I'm not happy about it, because I would think that Dick would be a little bit more loyal. Right. It, well, it, it, well, remember, but again, the Batgirl stuff, remember, that was something that was retconned in, actually, into their history. True, but it's still, it's still, well, it's not, it was retconned in, but it was still something that, you know, occurred. I, you know, stick with right. a woman, stick with one woman, don't go back and forth. I think, true. true, I agree with that. Especially with the current, the current comics, as it were, I mean, when fucking, uh... Yeah, Tim Kite, Sheridan... Kite, Kite Academy and fucking... Uh, oh, yeah, the editors were not telling each other anything, but... That was there, bullshit. Oh, I agree. I, think, I thought he uh, was the shittiest person on Earth when I when I read both. Uh, to be fair, that was only that one scene. They didn't even pick up on that any further in the rest of the series. It still happened. It still I think, I think, I think, off. I think Batman, the bad office, put their foot down on after that. They were like, what the fuck are you doing? That was so fucking... Dumb. But anyway... Yeah. Anyway, I do like, though, again, how Batman, he's trying to keep this from Tim. He's, like, hoping that this is not the Predator. Hoping it's someone else who's doing it. Oh, yikes. Um, but, yeah, basically, this is them finding out about, you know, it's the see-through killer again. And, up oh, there's Harold right there. He's a hunchback. You can't really tell here, but that's why he's supposed to be. A, yeah, a hunchback that Batman saved from, um, from Penguin. But yeah, basically, what? Oh no, something's like hitting my window. Ooh. I think, I, whatever. Anyways. Yep. But yeah, the, basically they're talking all over, like, this all seems too familiar, sir. I know, Alfred. Could it be that we have that we have visitors once more? Let's wait until it's confirmed. What are you guys talking about? Will somebody tell me what's going on? Oh, and then we have Mr. Freeze. Okay, this is that looks cool. It does. Uh, I love this art, the suit he oh had. Oh my god, that looks so cool. I know. And this, I think this is a nod to his um, Batman um, Gotham Knights era of the animated series. Um, you know, that armor he had like the one time. Or there, what he had in Batman Beyond. I really don't like. I hope they'd never do that thing where the, he's just a head again. That was. So oh, no, no, no. They're not going to ever do that. Please never do that again. That was so stupid. Yeah. Oh, uh, but yeah. Basically, this is still Freeze, who's more villainous, and he is wanting to help his wife. His wife is in the picture, but they were still keeping closer to because he had been a villain for so long they couldn't just change it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, he's easy free that door to absolute zero and easy money. And um, uh, and yeah, basically they soon realized that a call, a, a code phrase was used to call them and. There was a hitch when the security uh, office called, but I handled it. A hitch! Ch and you idiot! And they get their way out of there. Um, not to worry. Batman's car will hydroplane just like any other automobile. Engage all wheel drive. Protract road spikes. Uh, and, and, and get out the Dramine. Now that's spin I know. Now that's spin control. He ain't stopping. <laughs> Oh, but eventually he does, they, oh, they freeze him and they get the tire. Uh-oh. And they crash. But, because of that, the Predators follow them. And, obviously, for refrigerated area, 
They make their way in, and everyone else gets killed except Freeze. Oh, did they have to get him out of his armor just to fucking make it a fair fight? Uh, actually, if that's not the reason why... He's, he doesn't always stay in his armor. Remember, his armor has pa is powered. You can't always wear it all the time. No, no, just like a narrative reason. Like, the only reason why Freeze doesn't just freeze over the Predators is because... Well, beca well, because... Well, they can't see him. Oh, they can't see him. Holy shit. Okay, because that's he's cold. Very, that's very cool, then. Because he's cold. They can't see him because he has no body heat. Oh, my God. I didn't even think about that. Holy shit, that's awesome. So, and even try to check with all the other divisions. They can't see him. Wait, this is supposed to be the worst Batman versus Predator? Okay, again, I'm I agree that this is good. I said, this is good. This is really good, but from a narrative point of view, this doesn't seem to feel like it's like a trilogy. It just feels like a, a, a done-in-one, but it doesn't feel like a wrap-up. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that makes that's sense. What said, that's what I said. That's what I said. Oh, yeah. This is I, never said it was, I never said it was bad. I just said it was the weakest by the three because it doesn't feel like a wrap-up. It doesn't feel really a part of the story. It just loosely, very loosely, just like just feel like another predator has come to town. Because this whole bit right here. Oh yeah, this is incredible. Is, I do this love is incredible. It. This, this was it, probably the most unique, cleverest use I've ever seen of the predators' lore and Batman's. Yeah, lore. because they can't see freeze. They why would they? How could they? This yeah. He wouldn't I show up on anything. It. He wouldn't show up on anything. I fucking love this. This is so cool. As far as they probably think, they think he's probably a statue or something because they would probably be confused. In fact, if this was in the movie, it would be doing the the head tilt. Yeah. Uh, and of course, Russell Freeze is to too. Peter Hall. Yep. And Freeze is too petrified to do anything. And but yeah, they're trying to find where Freeze is because he got out of there. <laughs> obviously. Back, back one panel, one second. This one. Yeah, this stay there. Oh, okay, nah. Yep. Okay. I just wanted to make sure about that. Yep. The dreadlocks. Yep, the dreadlocks are still there. No, no, no I'm the young one. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, the young one. Oh yeah, the yeah. Smaller dreadlocks. Definitely. And shorter. Well, that's the that's the thing. Is like Yeah, know. basically this predator it's meant it's not supposed to be the equivalent of a teenager. Much like what we had in Archie versus Predator. Although teenagers according to the movies are basically giant hulking football players according to AVP. Which True. is still canon somehow thanks to the Predator. Fuck that movie! Uh, I, I guess I, I still enjoyed the first one. It's the second one that I hate. Oh, all the fucking inf infanticide? Yeah, it was Re Re Requiem. Was Requiem. Requiem's infanticide disgusted me. Uh, I, I, I hate that. Uh, especially, yeah, with yeah, the kids. Like, we, Okay, it's one thing to see the kid get face hugged. I mean, it's like, okay, We've known that's happened. It happened to Newt's brother. Yeah, it's happened. It happened off screen. But but, but, but then I have to have to see the kid start to get chest burns. You're like, well, again, this was done because oh, they no, were no, no. I'm talking about the hospital. Oh, yeah, that too. That's the part that discuss. I mean, up until that, up until the hospital, I was okay with the film. It's yeah. when they got to the hospital that I want to throw the fuck up. Oh, yeah. And the Pred Aliens way of reproducing, like, What? Yeah, well, the Pred Alien's supposed to be part queen. Yeah, but to do that to pregnant women and just... I know, I know, I know. The Russo brothers are sick fucks. But they well, not, that was Russo brothers. Not the Russo brothers. Uh, who the fuck? The, it was the brothers. I know. This, yeah, yeah. Those I guys... Got the brothers mixed up. Yeah, Russo brothers was Avengers. Yeah, they're more famous. But the brothers Strauss, yeah, they're, they're, they're sick fucks. Yeah, and they, they were told, you have an R rating, do whatever you can want, and... Ugh. Yeah, and they fucking took... They Again, the Anderson movie. was better at it, because at least he had more respect. Oh, he was a fan, and that's the part I liked. I mean, yeah. he's, just not, he's just not a very skilled director. That's the problem. Right. If he if he was a better director, it would have been much better. Yep. Oh, boy. Um, unfortunately for Freeze, it's hit 100 degrees, so he better hurry. Oh, yeah, he's fucked. Yep, unfortunately, like, the mercury's rising and the crime rate follows. The city reaches a boiling point and the morgue fills with b b bodies. Being a little dramatic tonight, Commissioner, you got some nerve talking dramatics. We, you know and what we've got in our hands here, Jim. Oh my god, really? I, again, that artwork. I know the artwork. 
Oh my god, that look up on his face is so good. Yes, the mutilation, the lack of physical evidence, no witnesses. We have a visitor. So Goss has become a hunting ground again. It looks that way. All right, then we've got more than our share of and we've got more than our share of psychos and mass murderers and general weirdness in this town. But I have to admit, this stuff gives me the creeps. I only wish we knew more about these visitations. I'm a cop, always been one, and always will be. Part of me wants to know what's going on. Part of me wants answers, but not this time. This time, I'd rather not know the answers. I'm sorry, I even I, I even know the questions. And you realize right now, you realize Batman just left him. Hanging, so he'd be turning around to him. Did you hear enough? You, it's my fault. I told you to stay up here. I didn't make it clear that you should have listened in. Why are you keeping me away from this one? You, you know who killed Frieza's gang. Not exactly. You're not being honest with me. These murders relate to a couple of earlier cases. One you won't find in my, uh, well, sorry, one you won't find in my files. The killer is more dangerous than any I've ever faced. Then you do know who it is. I'm telling you the truth when I say I don't know. This isn't making any sense. And I'm not prepared to tell you anymore, but I do need your help. And yeah, I like how Batman said, like, I know, but I don't know. I know the species, but each one is different. Yeah, each one. Yeah. And he knows that there are bad bloods. Which he exactly. Exactly. So he doesn't know what's going on. He's like, I know the type we we're dealing with. I don't know, though, why they're doing this. Yeah. Oh, well, but Freeze going to an ice cream truck. Like, you and I are going for a ride. Not if you understand. Excellent. This is a matter of life and death for me. Do not even consider crossing me. I'll tell you where to go. And time is a factor. Hey, Mr. Ice Cream Man, stop! I want ice pop! No stops. You're almost there. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But, yeah. Um, are you going hunting or going to war, sir? Each time we encounter one of these things, we learn a little more. I think I can find our visitors and convince him to leave Gotham before he kills again. Is that a more pro- Yeah. Okay. In a mechanic suit. Yeah, a more that, proactive that's approach. Weird. We've, been, and we've discussed this before. The addition of aircraft to your fleet of vehicles is in, infeasible. Not a permanent addition, Alfred. Sir, we're going to borrow one. I'll have need of your thespian skills. You mean my larcenist skills, don't you? Just and let's just say you uh, you brush up on your Eastland accent. You don't plan on purloining this aircraft from the military, I pray. No, Alfred. We'll be stealing it from myself, sir. Wayne Tech built a prototype version for police use. It's at the Bristol warehouse. This business gets more ghastly with each visitation. Is there anything we might be do to discourage these beasts from ever returning? We're sport for them, Alfred. It seems each time I defeat one, it simply challenges another. Whatever they and they are, they follow a strict code of honor. But it's like, no, they shouldn't be going after you again. No, they shouldn't be going after they. If you if you defeat one of them, then you deserve to live in their eyes. They exactly. Now, unless, you're, unless they're bad bloods, they're. But not they're not. Bad but bloods. these are not bad bloods. If nothing, they are. They're not hunting Batman. And if you've noticed, so, they're not. So either the the story behind the Predator's lore is different in this book, or Batman just doesn't have a full picture of how they're... He doesn't have the full picture. He doesn't have the full picture yet. He's just... Remember, he's gone off of after solo ones. He doesn't know their full culture. He doesn't know about father and sons in this case. Well, even in father and sons are... They, they act a little differently in, in the, yep. the lore. Yep. Oh, here's another one back during... um um. Way back when, you know. Conquistadors. The Conquistadors, yeah. And look at that. Wham! <laughs> he ran right into a guy's head chopped off. Ooh. Uh, they come oh, from a... Cool. He, has a he has a turtle shell on his shul- for a shoulder pauldron. Yeah. That's pretty cool. It uh, is. I, 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 like when they, I like when they add their kills to their armor. It lo- it makes them look so... And he probably, te- much like the one in Prey, probably test, you know, found the turtle and just, you know, who knows? Or maybe he just... Yeah. Or maybe he found a Prey consuming a turtle and realized the turtle's shell was hard. Yeah, it's it's really cool. I like that. Yep, I believe they've been here for centuries. Then a conclusive victory over this latest sportsman is pointless. It'll only encourage uh, encourage one of his fellows to try and try you. Better me than an innocent. Again, Batman doesn't know exactly. Although I do like his characterization in this comic so far. Oh yeah, he's yeah he's figuring it out. He's not far off. He doesn't know everything. He's also not a bat dick this time. 
Oh, yeah. I mean, he is to a degree, but he has a good reason to be, too. Because um, Chuck yeah. Dick is one of the ones notorious for bad dickery. Yeah, so he's not like uh, he's not like he was to Huntress. Oh, yeah. No, no, definitely not. Because in this case, he knows much more, and he knows Tim isn't ready. Huntress, well, Huntress wasn't even part of the team anyway. I also I also like the dynamic between him and Tim. Is like You can tell that they're definitely like, they are more father and son than partners in this. Well, that, that's the reason why the Predators are here. They're seeing oh, them, they're seeing see Batman and Robin as being just like them. Oh, I see now. Oh, this is getting interesting. Yep. I guess it's useless to ask you when you, uh, ask you guys where you're going. We'll be back in a few hours. Mm-hmm. Finish those search projections for freeze. You know what hurts, Robin, when you exclude him like this, sir. He begins to doubt your face and his skills and abilities. It can't be avoided. It's precisely those skills and capabilities that make him a target. So he's talking with Babs and everything. Of course, like this, yep, but this is a point where she's saying, like, sometimes I want to just spill my guts, you know? Like, telling me your real name? Nice try. This is a point where they still don't know everything, and Babs. I think this is during the point where they still don't know that Babs is Oracle. There was a point where they, they didn't know. Really? Oh, yeah. Like, there was a good, keep in mind, there was a good long time where I did not read comics. Oh, yeah, I understand. I Again, uh, yeah. But, yeah, there was a point where they didn't know. Hell, during another Batman story, I want to really show you that dealt with the Joker, where the Joker was um, charged for murder. Actually went to trial. He was going to get the death penalty, but he was innocent. I and they cut his ass. I'm sorry, but, 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 Bam, but, Bam, but Batman didn't want to do it at the expense of the actual killer getting away. But when they when they um, contact Oracle, they say we need to help the help you know they're like sure what you want I mean, who are we helping the Joker shuts down the entire Batcave. She spiked <laughs> Batcave, but of course that tells you they didn't know it was Babs because they would never would have asked her. They just thought it was just Oracle who was helping, who had her secrets. But yeah, eventually they get the airship and everything. And um, all right, but this series of homicides matches another one from all around the world. A cult. Batman only uh, talks like there's only one killer. No, he hasn't. You're assuming that, Tim. Oh, and Catwoman back during her um, the boob sock outfit. Uh, can't say that I hate this costume. The Jim Ballon outfit. Yeah, my. I remember. Uh oh! I, I have a I have a little story, side story to tell. Oh, okay. Um, when I was like three years old, my mom took me to a comic shop. My the first uh, time was, and you saw one of the um, Jim Ballon covers. Um, no, actually, I had I was like three years old, and my my mom allowed me to pick out a bunch of comics I couldn't read at the time, but she still right. allowed me to pick out comics and a copy of Mask of the Phantasm. Oh, good. So I got all that, and I walked out. My mom was actually the one who picked up one of these. Oh. And I didn't know she had picked it up. So when I saw it among all the comics that she had collected for me that day, mm-hmm. um, I, I, I just always felt like, you know, enamored by the suit. I was like, that's Catwoman. She doesn't look like she does in the cartoon. Oh, yeah. Well, to be fair, that outfit, it wasn't that far off from the cartoon, just a little off. Yeah, well, in any case, it's just something that I always remember. And it's not, I have a fond, I have fond memories of this particular out, uh, costume of hers. Yep. Uh, uh-oh! Ooh. The three dots! What? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Go back, go back. What the hell is he pointing at her? Uh, well, is I, that... could, could because yeah. of her clawed fingers. No, 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 no. The, the Predator. Is that a handheld laser pointer? I think it could be. What? We never, we never see it get fired. We never see it get fired. No, no, no. It doesn't look like it fires anything. It... I think that's the actual laser pointer for the camera. Oh. Which is weird because it's supposed to be on his mask. Uh, could be a case of a different version model. I guess. I mean, we've seen different versions, but that's still weird. Yep, but... Oh, bullets! Safety loads, of course! So what are they, rubber bullets? Oh, but yeah, they're, they're running off. Okay... Good night to rent a movie and stay in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right into the newsstand. Uh, but, of course, Batman, I don't think Batman, he's just following one of them. I don't think he's aware of the other one. Yeah, he doesn't realize there's another one. 
Is he following the son or the father? Uh, well, they're both running at the same time, but then, then the son falls into the newsstand. Okay. The son so he's following the father. Okay, I can see the dreads now. They're longer. Yeah. He's shifting, uh, shifting from one stealth mode to another, having trouble getting a lock. Will you lose him then, sir? Not a chance. I'm going to mark him. And basically, basically, he shoots him with stuff that's going to um, you know, make him more visible. His stealth case abilities are neutralized. I could follow him through zero visibility now. Nope, there's the sun getting away. Uh, no, no, that's still him getting away. I can't get the Jaeger down there, but the alley's blind. Not even a sewer opening down there. He's got to get past me. Not knowing oh. the sun. Yep, and I'm not going to let that happen. Uh-oh, now he knows about there being two. Damn. Problem, sir? Something struck the fuselage. Correcting my altitude. Oh, I don't think he still knows yet. No, he doesn't know. He thinks he might have accidentally nicked something. Oh, Batman, you're being so... You think you know everything, but you don't, and that's why Tim eventually realizes about the other one. I'll get back to you when I've landed. Landed? <laughs> To be fair, he's only ever really dealt with one at a time. He doesn't know about the Yeah, the only other time they showed up were ones that hunted down the other predator. The enforcers. Mm-hmm. We may well, actually no, he actually thinks like I think I made an error in judgment. We have we may have more than one visitor. Okay, so now he knows. Yeah. Oh. And they're trying to like I'd say freeze, but you'd like that, wouldn't you? This is Major Crimes Unit. Freeze! And, and Major Crime Unit, freeze. Make it easy and come out. You're playing this stupid freeze. We know you're in there. Have it your way. Open it up, officer. Has oh, to be the driver. He, oh, he killed him. Ditched the road. Kill him? That was pointless. Uh, the power died. So in other words, it took a lot longer for them to get there. And unfortunately, the ice cream truck um, died out. So freeze out of a out of fit of fucking rage. He just killed him. Yeah. Well, then also he was he was useless to him now. Yeah, I think I think that or the guy delayed. I think the guy went in circles. Oh, uh, right, 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 right. I think that's what happened. I think the guy went in circles until the power died. But yep, um, they make their way to find Freeze, who is, it's cold storage for outfits. And little Robin, the first sign of spring. I'm guessing your partner's somewhere around here. No matter, I'll have you on ice long before he can help you. And he will go in the deep freeze right beside you. Oh, God, they puns! Oh. Well, this, I, is, uh, this is the thing about Freeze. Without his suit or his weapons and gadgets, he's not very strong. Exactly. Well, it depends. Some version of it would be that he is still strong without the suit. I, I'm just saying, he, like he's no match for Robin Yep. without, without the suit. Step talk and you'll get a nice refrigerated cell within the hour. Who killed your gang and why did they spare you? I don't know what you're talking about. The sun's down, and the sun's down, but the mercury's still at 100. How long do you think you'll last if we rolled you out of here? They came out of nowhere. They killed Frosty and Chili and Snowy and Fridge like animals. Jesus why Christ, really? The fucking names. But they didn't touch me. They looked right through me like I wasn't there. Even my blood ran cold. Is this making any sense to you, Batman? Hmm. Maybe you could tell me what's going on now. I said you were on this case until we found Freeze. But I don't want you any closer to this. I don't want you in the way. Take some time off. Spend some time as Tim Drake until I can come back. I tell you until I tell you to come back. Can we discuss this? No discussion, no explanation. You'll do as you're told. I understand the risk I take. What's the difference this time? I knew the dangers even when I took this job. Too late Just now. great. Just great. I don't want you in the way. Take some time off. Spend some time with Tim Drake. Maybe I should hide under my bed until it's safe to come out. Too late now. They have yep. your sights. My strategy was all wrong, Alfred. Particularly in the light of there being two, being two of them. That's another factor. What I need is an environment I could control. A place where it's just that me and them. I lured them into a trap and uh, where I have an advantage. And what do you propose to use as bait and to bait this trap? As I might have surmised, meaning himself. <laughs> of course it's himself. It's always himself. Now, of course, there's going to be a case where... Um, now, this is during the time when Lucius does not know. And there was a point where Lucius did not know. And that is the best time ever. 
And basically, OSHA is there saying that they you know, detect some type of disease or something inside. So they're going to shut the whole tower down for a while. Uh, uh, a, day, a day off with pay. You'll be a hero, Lucius. Oh, yeah, this is also when Bruce is really playing up the dumb, you know, businessman act. One that would bite him in the ass big time during No Man's Land. I, one of the no, you know, one of the worst no. things that I always hated about the relationship between Batman and Lucius is that Lucius mm -hmm. knew. I did. Well, again, I liked the, it better when Lucius was in the dark. True, but I think Nolan made it so made so much sense that he knew. That I, I never liked that even in the movies. Yep, but we see him, we see um, him at the at the mall with his then girlfriend Ariana. So yeah, they're just chilling out. Um, meanwhile, with that, um, everything empty there now, um, you only have one night to lure our visitor here. What if they don't accept your invitation? They'll be here. They won't be able to resist. And uh, oh, look at that suit! It's like the first movie uh, mini suit, but it's in that. In this case, it lowers his temperature. Oh, hey, that's. Nika made a figure about that. Ah, yeah, that's I, I ha, I've never read this comic before, but I know of that suit. Yeah, basically, but like my te my outside temperature is at minus ten Celsius, but my body temp remains normal. The insulation is working. Let's pray it continues to do so. Otherwise, you might very well freeze to death in a heat wave. Go home, Alfred, as you wish, sir. And sure enough, he's ready to. Uh, he puts up a good fight against it. Just enough false to make you stay down. Now stay down, damn it! My God, where's your partner? Where's your partner? I knew the dangers when I took this job, Robin. Meanwhile, yeah, at a um, tonight only beast with six heads. I married a werewolf. Robot rebellion. The day the Earth died and more. Uh oh. Oh my God. I'll tell you what's unbelievable. Did anyone ever found these movies scary? And we go into the last one, issue. As he again puts up a good fight with it. Um, as yeah, I, I'm listening. I don't have much time. Basically, he's telling him contact uh, contact Robin. He's who he's after. The other one is after. Um, and eventually he does contact him and everything. He's over here inside. So the hunter becomes the hunted. And by eventually when he contacts him, he then sees like, it's okay, Alfred, I'm convinced. Oh, crap! He sees it. Yep. And he's leaving a shadow! Well, he is a young predator, so of course he's going to make a mistake like that. Yep, he gets everyone out of the car and then drives off. Batman's still fighting him off. He contacts him saying, where's Batman? He's occupied with the partner of the creature now pursuing you. Creature? There's simply no time for this, Master Timothy. You must return to the lair at once. On my way. Maybe you can explain all this to me when I get there. I only pray I have the opportunity, sir. Ouch. I, but yeah, they may, I, I am not at liberty to say. The master prefers you not be exposed to this, pro to this problem any more than it is necessary. Exposed? The problem nearly killed me in a carload of... The proximity alert. Someone's in the cave. Oh, but unfortunately, the suit's now weakening as they can now see him. Yep. Wait, he can see... Well, wait, how can he see him through the monitor? What? Okay, that's a stretch. But follow him, they put a transmitter on the Batmobile. Or on his car. On the Redbird. And, uh-oh. Sir, what? Get down! Oh, and he took out the T-Rex foot. Oh, you motherfucker. And I just finished industing that monstrosity. <laughs> Alfred, can you see him? I have two barrels full of double odd shot. I merely need a compass heading. Ooh! Uh, but they have the predators and the older ones following Batman, and he's trying to seal up his bleeding. Oh, but this is great, isn't it? Yeah, I'll be honest, dude. I'm actually having more fun with this one than the last two. Oh, really? I'm not. I'm not even joking. Okay, but yeah, eventually, um, I'd say he's taking the bait. Alfred, give me the gun. But I'm not going to kill anybody or anything. I'm strictly, I'm strictly to call up. Some, it's strictly to call up some reinforcements. The bats. It's confused. It can't see anything because of all the heat. That's too much. It's, it should basically just be like a giant wall in front of them. Yeah. Shouldn't the entire and, roof 
uh, roof of the cave be like lined with red? Oh yeah, and he uses Freeze's um, absolute zero cannon. He bought a borrow from the police impound to freeze him. So that predator is now down. He looks like RoboCop right there. He does. That's so cool. Yeah, they eventually make it over there. They are now pinned, and he's ready to say, like, "I shall put it to the best use possible, young sir." And the words of Wellington: "If we're going to, if we're to die, then we di then die hard. At least, I mean, at least oh, that's what he said. At least he didn't say, now the hunter becomes a hunted.' The reference is lost on me, sir. I'm betting he understands it. See? Yeah. But yeah, he's driving him back oh, there. It's the dad. You owe Alfred. What? You bastard. Yeah." Oh. And Robin, free of mercy and human compassion, this creature lives only to kill. Oh, man, I'm going to die in a drive-in movie. Not tonight, Robin. The game is over. Your side lost. I don't I don't Wait, believe it can understand you, sir. Hold on. Go back. Free of mercy and human this creature. That was from the movie earlier. Oh, well, I'm just saying it, it, it kind of reminds of a play on words from uh, the first Alien film. When Ash, oh, yeah. The robot Ash... The Android app. Yeah, you're right. You're right. That's, that's but yeah, cool. he'll understand this. He'll understand means the hunt is finished. Cut your losses. Take your father and go home. His father? It was an initiation. A rite of passage. You were to be his first solo kill, Robin. Why me? They say they saw us as they are. Father and son. Wow. Each of you challenge equal to their skill. Exactly, Alfred. We were trophies to be collect hunted and collected. But we were more of a challenge than they anticipated. We turned on them. We defeated them. We humiliated them. And I hope to God that this final insult is enough to keep them from ever returning. But again, that is, so he was trying to hunt down Batman, in other words. Do you think that the Predators, when they made him an exception, since this was meant to be a too perfect of a parallel between the two? Um, do you think they would have allowed that? Like... Really, these are two people, a you know, father and son like duo that matches a father and son hunters. Or do you think that they they would have unintentionally become bad bloods without knowing it? No, because not every um, the thing is not every predator is in the same clan, so they might not know about him. That's true and too. They could just be drawn to Gotham because I mean, granted, I've never seen you know separate clans. Go to the same go to the same hunting grounds without going without, mm -hmm. without going to war with each other, of course, because they don't like each other, you know, right. in their territory. But you, these could not these probably might not be part of the same clan. That's true, but of course, they, and but and I think that comes to the one problem that when you have a different writer. I mean, Tixon did a great story, but like, do you see what my issue is? That it just doesn't tie into the other two, and that it just feels like a. It's its own another it's its own thing that's loosely related only because Batman knows about them. Yeah, but again, it is incredible. But I'm saying as the end of a trilogy. No, it doesn't work as an end of the first two trilogy. the The thing is that it stands on its own, and in my opinion, above the the first two. Oh yeah, I mean, it shows you Dixon does get the predators, and yet he does stuff that adds to the lore that you never think about. Yeah, I mean. As far as like the father and sons go in, in, in Predator lore, I mean, yeah, they, I'll be honest, most of the stuff I, I've read, uh, mm -hmm. all the father cares about is that the son does not bring shame on his, on him. That's it. Right. I've never, I've right. never seen them hunt like that together. Right. And so this, this was interesting. And again, each Predator is slightly different. It is. Each, each Predator is slightly different. Um. I mean, I, I, again, I take this as this could be a case where this is the um, a personal thing between a family, not the clan. Yeah, th so this is not a, this did not read like a clan fight or, you know, like the Batman clan versus the Predator clan. This is not what that yeah. was, which is kind of my, probably my one complaint about this, which throws the lore of the Predator off, is because Predators mm -hmm. operate by clan honor, not by personal family honor. They do that too, but it take, but it's it's superseded by clan honor. Yep, and I that though this was going to be his first solo kill. Isn't it almost always the the xenomorph? No, actually, there I forget what it's called, but there is a 
there is a very, very dangerous alien sub, uh, species that lives on their home planet. That's supposed mm-hmm. to be their first kill, and it's supposed to be in a group of uh, three. Okay, yeah, but yeah, but first solo kill. Isn't their first solo kill supposed to be the Xenomorph so they can be blooded? No, they also do that in teams of three, too. Oh, all right then. Okay, so this would have been his first solo kill. Like what, again, what could have been in Prey or what could have been others? Probably, because the one in Prey, he was supposed... If he's out on his own, he has already killed both that first creature on his home planet and... Mm-hmm. And, and the... Yeah, the Xenomorph. He's, yeah. He's been blooded he's been, already. Yeah, for them to be on solo hunts, to be on a solo hunt, you need to be blooded. You need, so, you need to pass all... Of- but for, this to be, for, for the father to be involved with this one, again, this feels more like a personal thing, like between this family of predators and less of a, like, of a... Yeah. Basically, he wanted to be like, I want to make sure this is something that we do together. Yeah. And I, which makes it more human. And that is probably another part of the complaint that I have is that they're not supposed to be that human. They are supposed to be their own. Yeah. And I, and technically, and also for this, I think they also want a way to have it be that they knew, probably knew Robin wouldn't understand a chance. So they needed a way for them to win without winning, you know, um, killing them. Yeah. But I do like that. I, I don't like how they kind of messed with the lore of the Predator in this in this uh, story, but I do... I still know when you're as bad as the Predator, of no, course! No. It's it's not a terror... I don't, I don't like that they changed it, but I do realize that it is it works as a change. If we didn't have all that other lore crap, you know, stuff like that, I probably would mm-hmm. be completely fine with this. This is, you know, 10 out of 10, but for me, personally, this is a clear 8 out of 10. Yeah, and, and this came out in ninety in ninety seven is when this came out. So, so I'm gonna I'll rank the Batman versus Predator as thus: this one eight out of ten, two six out of ten, one seven out of ten. All right, now right, you guys, the stuff with how we treat hundreds really brought that down, yeah, right? The, the Bat Dick really brings brings me. But again, that was a rule, though, that they had to be. He had to be a dick to her up until No Man's Land. I doesn't mean I like it. The, yep. I, I, just des- I just despise Bat Dick. I, I do not like it one bit. I, I do like that he's aloof and, you know, emotionless. He doesn't know how to handle talking to other people. But to his personal friends, his allies, he should still be at least a little nicer and more understanding, if not, you know, dry sense of humor, sarcastic, like he is with Superman. Mm-hmm. Oh, by the way, the Superman one, I don't think you're going to like. In fact, I'm gonna bre- this one's going to be a Breeze one because the Predator doesn't factor that much into it. So, Superman versus Predator. Okay. How now, also how, this, how, how, how this, the Predator's not one-shotted? Well, we'll get to that. And also, this is Alex Maleev's artwork, who I normally like when he does grounded stuff. But here... This looks really old. It does, but yeah, they find a predator ship. Which, okay, I'll just, I'm going to give spoilers ahead of time. This is a, uh, basically a predator had lost, but its ship for some reason did not self destruct. Wait, so the predator? Its ship. Wait, so, wait, 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 hold on. The predator. This is from a predator before it, not the predator we're going to deal with. It's from a different predator that was on this planet that had lost, but its ship never self destructed or did anything, so it got left here. The predator that's going to come here is coming to deal with this well, to ship. To be fair, they they have to activate the self destruct there on their own. If he was, if the predator prior to this was killed off and didn't have a chance to self destruct, then it wouldn't matter. Yes, that, that, so the one so we're, basically we're going to deal with a predator that's not here to hunt at all. He's just here to collect his shit. Okay, or blow it up, or blow. Yeah, okay. Now this is actually lore accurate. They do not. Yeah, unlike the predator. Fuck that movie. Uh, <laughs> Unlike the Predator, fuck that movie again. Um, <laughs> the, the Predators do not want their technology in our hands at all, and they will go to great lengths to make sure that it never gets in our hands. Which explains how the Predator acted at first. And that's why I think that's why I'm always wondering if those humans were assuming that wanted to give it the tech when it really didn't. I am starting to assume and think that they were assuming it because basically that's my only way of resolving everything in that movie. They, everything they just assume because they thought humanity is the center of the Robert, universe. Robert, you, the way you, the way you explain that movie is just say fuck that movie. Yeah, but anyway, 
They, but yeah, this thing has been abandoned for years. And when, but and, but sure enough, what they find dangling at the bottom, all of those skulls. What is going on with this lady's face? I don't know. Again, Maleev is usually great when he does stuff like Daredevil, but here, uh, we see Superman saving the day as there's a a marathon going on. I do appreciate uh, how old school the art is when Superman's on the panels, but oh yeah, that's um, yep. But yeah, Superman does his thing, and oh god, that's Lois. What the hell? Is... Okay, wait, who's the artist here again? Alex Melly. Not do faces. great was Daredevil. Great was Daredevil. He is great was Daredevil. Cannot do faces in this fucking comic. He even oh, you see, that's bad. Look at this. It's supposed to be a kiss, smack, you know, for a kiss, and smack. that's not a kiss, you know, for the kiss. They put they had to put that sound effect in there because it's clear, clear she wasn't, you know, it doesn't look like she's kissing him. So they had to toss a sound effect in there. But basically, yeah, he's being sent to a Star Labs found something in Central America. Wait, wait, did, did and you know he's Superman in this? Oh, yeah. They're married by this oh. point. When Michelini was involved writing this stuff, this was well after the marriage. Okay. But basically, yeah. Um, basically, yeah. They, and that's what he had heard. They just heard from Ron Troop about everything. And then she goes to Perry saying something big going on down there. And, I, and I've got the inside track on an exclusive. So in other words, they heard about it and she's going down there because he, he knows Superman's going to be down there. I'll admit that. I'll go back. I'll admit that last panel on the right, bottom right, does, doesn't look too bad. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad, but like there with the big lips on the upper left. I, I know. I was like, I, that's. Again, that's the one problem with Melee's artwork. It's so erratic. All over the fucking place. But she doesn't look that bad. That woman doesn't look that bad there. I mean, yeah, that one doesn't look too bad, actually. That's some. But it's it's. Yeah, we're, yeah this guy Casey, he's going to be a guy we're going to follow on throughout a lot of this. Um, again, they're there with Star Labs, but we find out later. Turns out there's a bigger thing going on now. Superman shows up to help. Uh, my X-rays, you know, isn't detecting anything except for the, the design suggests they self-destruct, and some of the wires are loose. May have been pulled free in transit. Wait, what? But then. Uh, the ship, you basically are saying the ship had crashed. I know, I know. So it's so was this from a predator well, that was that was on a hunting and failed, or was this a predator? Yes, that's what it seems like. That's what it but seems some of like. The wires are lo- so the that didn't happen on the. Maybe pulled... someone else did that. No. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. We will get. We will get to okay. that. Um, microburst, too compacted for human hearing, because he basically he opened it up and a bunch of noise came out. It felt like an electrical shriek. And now we eventually find out that Superman's actually now been infected by a disease that came from another planet. Completely immune to the spe- to the predators and the humans, but to Kryptonians, it's deadly. Okay, interesting. Now the predator is now finally showing, this one is showing up and heading down there. Um, I guess that, that disease is supposed to put him on par with the predator, right? Yes. Oh, okay. Um... But it's not going to be make him as weak, you know. But he's um, still Superman. Yep. But yeah. So um, now, right now, he's still fine at the moment. But yeah, these guys show up wanting that they want the tech in that ship. Um, everything's just going crazy. The like I said, the Predator does not factor that much into it. That's why I'm just breathing through a lot of this. But yeah, now it's on his body's weakening already. He actually be like that actually hurt. So it's starting to take effect on him. Okay. But we find out this um, scientist that's here. Um, first of all, this woman here, she's in on it with him, the scientist. So are they the bad guys? Oh, yeah, she's the uh, one of the bad guys. The other guy, Casey, is not. Um, oh, they have to go this way across that. Um, that. The pit looks fused. Okay, that, a those, spoil- those faces look pretty good. So how erratic this art yeah. is. It, it ranges from okay, passable, to shit. Okay, here, here's what it is. Senior Casey, this is right. This place is old. Years ago, foreign soldiers came to wage a secret war. They didn't tell us why. They never do. But this time in their eagerness to kill each other, they failed to see a monster drop from the sky. A devil warrior who had come to hunt the hunters. The demon fought with unholy weapons. Blade that cuts through metal. Fire like arrows from the sun. 
in honor of ancient gods, or perhaps in mockery, he took trophies of blood and bone, until at last a single soldier remained, a rare champion with strength and wisdom enough to battle the sky creature. And so the beast became the wind and impossible to see in order to hide from his former prey. Because it basically went invisible. It was a game of cap and, cat and mouse, a contest which only one could survive. Only one. Go on, Meichu. In the end, through cunning and skill, the soldier triumphed. The demon fell to defeat. In his shame, the monster called up fire from hell to consume his body. Self-destruct, in other words. Yeah. My people fear and might wake the demon and bring him back. So yeah, this thing died long ago, and only now the predators are getting around to taking care of the ship. That probably because probably because they didn't realize it until someone messed with it when they took when they took off the weapon. That's what sent. They probably triggered something for the ship to come. Okay. I mean, that makes sense, doesn't it? Kind of. I mean. Like basically, the predator probably shut down the ship, and it was you know when it left, and then um, one. But now, once they open it, they reactivated it, and that triggered the them um, to send the predator, the other one, the predators to come by and deal with the ship. I, that should have happened a lot sooner. Typically, when the other when when a predator self destructs themselves, you know the wrist thingy and the blow, they do. The blow yeah, thing, that's supposed to actually send out a signal. Ah, so that. They should have come to collect earlier. That's true. But, um, but yeah, oh, Lois is there. I'm uh, like, oh no, Lois, a missile's been shot at them. Superman fl um, flies up and catches it. Oh, that should have done a lot more damage. Yeah. Um, thanks, thanks, Superman. It's good to see that you're on your knees. Oh boy, is that weekend that they get they actually capture him. And they really, 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 really like uh, this artist really likes uh, drawing this chick's uh, chest area, doesn't she? <laughs> Does, yep. And oh, now there's the predator. Now he has a great predator, doesn't he? Yeah, that looks really cool. Yeah, they make their way through, and um, they're seeing all about the tribe. We're seeing all those images. There's the weapon they took. They actually took that gun from the ship. Oh, that's why the wires are all fucked up. Okay. But the reason why they want to use it, this this crazy scientist here plans on doing a case of weeding out the imperfects. Excuse you? Yeah. Basically, they're utilizing the ship to using blast that will blast bioengineered isotopes into the atmosphere, causing rainfall that would come to Earth, irradiating the entire planet's water supply. And they show an example here. Perfectly good man and one with um, uh, born genetic defects. And the one, the one man, they drank the same water. He was fine. He died. So it's just a eugenics plot. Yep. Okay. Yep. And he says, this proves that our formula will target only the unfortunately afflicted. Those with genetic traits such as dwarfism, spinia dysphedia, Down syndrome, and all. But the death toll would be staggering. Regrettably so, especially since the seeding process will also affect those carrying recessive genes. Okay, you deserve to oh, die. He looks like yeah, he looks like uh, what's his name, uh, Christopher Lee. He does, but yeah. So basically, um, oh, Mister, if my mouth wasn't dry and bone dry, I spit in your face. Water, you slug, spit's too good for you. <laughs> Okay, that's Lois. That is so Lois. Yeah. So smart. Like smart yeah, ass. Snarky as fuck. That's actually, that's, that's pure Lois right there. Yep. But yeah, they start to make a way out of there. Um, and that, yeah, Casey, I, get, I like this Casey again. We find out he dealt with a predator before. Um, but unfortunately, they get captured. And right at the same time, the predator shows up. And, well, he's there to do what he needs to for the ship. That looks cool. Oh, yeah, it does. Um, again, this is fine on its own, but the Predator is not that important, really. No, I mean, the story is more on the, these people than anything else. I mean, that's fine and dandy, but I, I'd like a little bit more Predator with my Superman versus Predator. Exactly, exactly. I mean, I get it. This is probably... I, Michelini had a big order to work on. Try to do something to have it be where it's not so simple to defeat it. 
Oh, but yeah, Lois, they still want Lois to report on this, and she's like basically saying, go to hell! Yep, you're like, we're, all we're trying to do is purify the race. Where have we heard that before? Yeah. Yep, um, they get their way out of there, and um, basically, like, then I suggest you concentrate on doing just that, Mr. Bard, and leave the bone breaking to me. Call a professional courtesy. Um, they make their way out, and, um, yeah, they're still, they're basically saying, let's separate, go different ways, um, oh, I'm sure, I'm, I share your concern, Lois, but I'm sort of married to the idea, please understand, oh, that's a good way, subtle way of saying it. Yep. <laughs> um, but yeah, so they eventually make their way out of there. He's making her way back to the ship, but as soon as he gets there, like, shredded fatigues and three skull slicks, fresh. Those bodies were the guards, but who? The ship blows up. And so, yeah, he self-destructed the ship. And, oh. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Oh, what you say? Like, I hate, I dislike guns. I hate being killed. No, I'm just saying that the artist, man, his, his fascination with this chick's boobs are just... I know, well, I know, but turns out um, she basically takes a gun and then like, over here, we're over here. No, like, well, well, then, and just when you think life can't possibly hold any more surprises, that's when they find out she's a traitor. Oh, there's the predator. Shouldn't be surprised, I guess. Spaceship, spaceman. Creature must have come in or for that vehicle. And he's not too pleased to find me here. Retracting his shoulder gun. Extend some kind of blade. Oh, it wants to iterate. No, Superman's a worthy foe. Guess he uh, looks like he doesn't consider me much of a threat. No, that's not it, Soups. No, he, 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 re he knows you're, you're a threat. <laughs> he just he yep. wants a challenge. Oh, turn out the ship didn't blow up. He got blasted. Like, okay, my mistake. He's back to the gun, and I don't know if I can take another hit. But if I can lure him inside, close quarters should limit the effectiveness of his blaster. Come on, buddy, buddy, don't be shy. He's running away. But why? That wasn't here before. Symbols changing sequentially like a countdown. Monster wasn't here to take the ship. He came to blow it up. Boom! So, yeah, they're all captured, and unfortunately, Superman's reek going to be reek. Well, putting up a good fight. And everything, um, but he feels worse than anything. And he's considering shooting him, but he knows Superman's weakened. What's the matter, Snipples? What's the matter? Snipples got you down? Oh, jeez. What the fuck? Okay, the Predator would never taunt him like that. No. I mean, Predator, the Predator for Predator 2 would, but... Yeah. Uh... But yeah, they're still they're getting ready to work on the devices where we find out more about that she's in it with them. Um, the Predator is actually going to start blasting a bunch of this stuff and everything because it wants to take care of all of its tech. Uh, he still wants that gun. Yeah, exactly. Um, you won't hurt me bad, will you? I won't hurt you at all. But you can tell your friends whatever you like. <laughs> um... But yeah, oh, okay, now this one, when they're listening, like, never underestimate your enemy. Okay, that makes sense. That's a better line. Would you agree with that, that that's a that's better, better line? line? Yeah. Never underestimate your enemies. That's right up there. Oh, sorry. With, well, never He's mind. Still a but yeah. Chatty than he should be. Right. But yeah, um, Lois being the badass. Is that supposed to be a panty yeah. shot? Yep. Bye. <laughs> Not a good one. Not a good one. That's why it's shaded the way it is. Yep. But yeah, Lois puts up a good fight against this guy, but he cheats with get, um, using a mace, it looks like. But then uh, Casey shows up to help him get out of there. And uh, Casey? Case, what's wrong? You look like you've seen a ghost. He has. He's seen that before. Mm -hmm. Again, putting up a good fight. Um, guards, this is Ward. Kill the prisoners. You may continue your work now, Dr. Rawls, because he knows Superman's just going to fly out to save him. And he's still bulletproof enough. It probably still feels the stinging, but it's not going to penetrate his skin yet. Yeah. 
But yeah, the predator over here is there. And again, I do like how this predator is not here to hunt. This is a predator with a duty. Which is the one saving grace from the movie Requiem. That predator was not there to hunt. That predator exactly. was there to kill the fucking infestation. And that does exactly within the lore. There are predators such as like the Enforcers, the wolf from Requiem, and this one, which they do have a job to do, and that is to keep the the the, the war from their tech or anything from going too out of control. Exactly, is they they have to keep everything in control. It's why, the example, if a, if say a hunt for the um there to be blooded goes wrong, they nuke the whole thing because yeah, there's like. We're hunting on our own. We don't want to screw this planet over. Yeah, because they still want to hunt there. If they screw it over, then it's it's all fucked. Exactly. But yeah, so um, oh, that one, the main one of the main guys is fighting off the predator. Yeah. Good fight. Like, like be uh, what fuel tanker fire in the hole. Oh yeah, no way out. Don't stand a bloody chance. I, I see people u- utilize predator two more than for the talking. I think. Yeah, getting a little too out of control at this point. Again, not as bad as the first Batman Predator. Not, not, not even close, but... But yeah, basically they're getting ready... Uh-oh, they started the the, um, the seeding process. You know, seeding the clouds. So yeah, Superman's going to head his way over there leading to the final issue as the Predator goes to its own ship and gets a weapon to use. Select, uh, focus on the prize. Select proper tools for the job. And above all, know this. Survival is an option. Failure is not. Okay, that is a great. That is that probably is one of their that their is, mo- their motive. That's a money shot right there. That is beautiful. And again, that line. That's pretty much what they believe by survival is an option, failure is that not. That's true. Failure is not an option only because if you do, you are dead. You are dead, or you are forever shunned. Yep, and you are sent to the exile. Exactly, but yeah, they're trying to do. Casey's there to help. Uh, Doctor Trabor is, is there to help out, and this is where he's going to find out. Oh, it says this made me see that there's something even tougher to live with than fear. Oh, and what's that? Shame. Mm-hmm. So yeah, you get why I'm breathing through this, right? Yeah, it's not exactly a great story. There's some good artwork here and there, but it's not. And good ideas, and good ideas, yeah. but it doesn't feel like a predator. You could put some other alien in here. Yeah, this this doesn't feel like it. It should be connected to predator at all. It just seems like yeah. It just seems like the predator is there as a gimmick to sell the comic. Yep. Oh, ah, don't be a wuss. <laughs> I would love to hear a predator say that. I will admit that that's another great uh, pick of the predator right there. <laughs> don't be a wuss. <laughs> well, no, no, I'm talking about the artwork. That that looks so. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. It's the one good thing about this that I'm admiring at this point. Yep. I think the Predator's going to know it knows it's not going to make it. But, yeah, this is what we find out about when he dealt with some Predators back in Iraq. Yeah. That makes sense. And it saw him. Like I was so scared. I couldn't even blink. Now, he was wounded. So of course, the Predator left him alive. But, yeah, I realized Predator's attacking Afghanistan. I can believe that. I, I can believe that. I That I'm kind of waiting for, like, the next, like, stories like in afghanistan though uh... or I, I wouldn't be surprised if marvel would do that in their comics oh that's right marvel's doing it did the new marvel predator comic come out yet i, uh, I think it had it just started okay i i was waiting for that and i'm i'm actually looking forward to reading that but yeah so he goes there he's ready to help deal with some of them superman's keeping an eye i'll bet Black, batman would have had a plan b oh shut up nope but yeah again putting up a good fight Sees the predator like now. I uh, the one uh, we see the blast, but why? Unless I was wounded last time, and now I'm unarmed. Skane's the dangerous one, so he's the one you're after, right? Good boy. Because <laughs> the other guy has the weapon, uh-huh. and Superman makes his way in there. Seems you you you, you follow a warrior's code, mate. Well, I'm a warrior myself. So how about we put away the high tech and make this interesting? Oh, and he does. But, uh, yep, guess that's the answer to the age old question. Are we having fun yet? <laughs> but he, th- he wants the machine to be stopped. Not going to happen. And, uh, you know, I-, I know we said no mechanical weapons, mate, but and you're just too dangerous. He's cheating, in other words, pulling out a gun. 
And but what does he? What does the predator do? Shoots him with a um um. Yeah, the retractable blades. Some of them. Uh, uh, some of them can be. Long. Sniffling coward. Now that I can see the predator saying after what this guy pulled, right? Yes, that's actually in character. You know, now that I'm re- now that I'm looking at it, this the predator seems like a secondary protagonist, not an antagonist in this story. Exactly, he is. That's weird. It was just a bit of a misunderstanding, but yeah, he's just here trying to get the weapon back. They're trying to stop it now. It leads to another fight with the predator because he doesn't know what's going on. The predator doesn't know much about Superman. He probably thinks he's in on it. Yeah, I don't think he cares. He just sees everyone's an enemy. Exactly. Um. Marla, you gotta shut the machine down. I can't, Casey. And why would I want to? A new age is beginning. Oh, geez. So, what does Zuman do? First, he uses the heat vision, takes out the blaster. Oh, guess I see the real you for the first time, Marla. Be part of it, Casey. Stay with us. Stay with me. You know, I've wanted to do this since the day I met you. You, you want to kiss me? Tunk! Not exactly! I like Casey, don't you? I do. This old guy who's a badass. And just hope they don't make Lois write my obituary. Lois, no, not going to happen. So what does he do? He brings the wall down, the, the ceiling down on him. I need a nap. <laughs> and he actually locks him up, but then Casey comes back and reveals, you're going to need to release him because he's actually here to stop it. So Superman realizes, like, like, yeah, he's going to have to live with the consequences of it all. Oh, here's what it says. He's called Superman, and he's earned that name, not only by strength and deed, but the wisdom to make impossible decisions and the courage to live with the consequences. For a timeless instant, three pairs of eyes, eyes each alien to, an, and to the other, stare in silence, sharing in, um, trepidation, tension, and ultimately understanding. Oh, geez. And then um, the, the doctor shows up, and but then... Was that absolutely necessary? And basically, he heads him over there, but then the Predator realizes what he has to do and starts the self-destruct sequence. Now, I think he already, earlier, when he was coming in, he pressed buttons on it. I think he blew up his own ship with that one. Yeah. He probably knew it was a one-way trip. The creature must have decided that this is the only way to keep evidence of his race out of human hands. And then the Predator gives him the cure for the virus. That's a bit of a Deus Ex Machina. That really is. Um, I, I. But yeah, so it's right. It blows up. They get out of there. His ship. There, there, there. The ship blows up. Automated destruct circuits aboard that had brought the alien there draws a final curtain. So maybe something went wrong with the old ship, and or it could have been during a point where they didn't have the automated connection. Who knows. <sighs> Yeah, Superman takes the um the, the that takes it, and we wrap everything up. I am not a fan of this. I told you you wouldn't be. Again, there's a lot of good, but a lot of bad. Yeah, the the unfortunately the bad outweighs the good. It's I would give it a four out of ten, and it's only saved by the predator itself. I would say it's saved by the art of the predator itself, and whatever the the artist's uh, fascination. Well, well, and I would say the villain's plan gives it a good reason. It's just the execution of this that's not good. The villain's plan, it's typical villainy, but utilizing the predator's tech to do it is like insidious. My my one cont- like my, my biggest contention with this whole story is uh, Marla. Yeah. <laughs> Her character makes no sense to me whatsoever. I know. It's like, oh, I'm helping out. Oh, no, I'm a traitor. Her character is just... Her- oh, Casey also saves this. Casey also saves this. I don't get her. And K- Casey is probably the best part of the whole story, but... Um, and Superman, I still think. I think Superman really um, is really well handled. Nickelodeon had a good hand on him. Superman's in character, and that's fine. But the problem is I've never been really a Superman fan. I'd- All right. Well, well. Next, a short one. Okay. Now, this one I have never read, but I do. But you I, heard I of know it? Know of it? Yes. Yep. John Ostrander, who actually has written the Predator before, he did the Predator versus Magnus Robot fi- Fighter comic. I remember the first time I found out about this story. I was like, and Graham Nolan. Yeah. And the thing is, like, how the hell did? 
how is this even a fair fight? The Justice League would just wreck them. Because they were these basically the whole plot of this is a bunch of predators have been captured by the Dominion and 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 enhanced to match the Justice League. The Dominator, sorry. Ah, uh, yeah. And in this moment I found out about that, it's like that's that, yeah. You, when you put yourself in a fucking position where you have to write something really stupid to make your story happen, you're already in a bad way. True, but it's still an interesting idea, especially oh, um, oh John, John almost got hit. We get the other member of the Justice League to show up, and then they're, they're all helping. But then when they do, oh crap! Whoa! Now, okay. With Superman, the last one, he had a respect for the Predator, correct? Uh-huh. Predators! What? See? This is a case where there was... Oh, look at Kyle! Bored! Wait, so this is a continuation of Superman and the Predator? So pre he knows of them? Well, he knows about them, but unfortunately they're playing it up like he knows about the um, the hunt for sports and everything. And John Armstrong told me... He did. He just go. He was just told go in, knowing that Superman knows about them. He didn't know what happened in the other story. So he's treating it like he knows the worst ends of the Predator, not the honor. Yeah. Although he he still that, wouldn't agree with their honor, anyways. Right. But here's the thing, though. John's still alive. Barely. <laughs> he even said, "Like that would be true if my brains were in my head." But don't worry, but yeah, he's fine. I, I've never sensed his mind since when do predators have psych so everyone knows about predators. What? And since since never. Batman, how'd you get up here? I teleported it up as soon as you unlocked the controls. How you doing, Sean? I will survive. My but my system has taken quite a beating. I'm afraid I'll be out of commission for a while. Inter interior sensors showed no one was in the watchtower except of course, us. Of course a narrative way to take out one of the heavy hitters in the team. Yeah, but it, it felt like what the Predators would do, and that would take a lot out of him. Uh, yeah, but I've seen him get, I've seen him walk shit off before. It, it's reasonable to assume the Predator or Predators fo followed. My question is, why are the Dominators being pursued? And how are Jean's attackers able to uh, slip past his telepathic senses? The League needs to split into three teams that pursue the Dominators. Subdue them and bring them back here for questioning. John, you remain here to recuperate and coordinate ha here and here and coordinate. Here's how the team should split up. Aquaman, Wonder Woman, and Plastic Man. I love Plastic Man here. <laughs> That's funny. I just like, keep. Ex oh, he is fucking singing. Of course he is. Thank you. Yeah, fill me, but I know. Our sir, our sir, I'm talking uh, on. Hush, Plastic Man. This really is the most beautiful city, don't you think, our sir? They say it's one of the most romantic cities on earth. Water quality is a bit better than last I visited, but it still smells like a sewer to me. Alright, so I'm talking about romance, and you're giving me a water analysis? Cynicism does not become you, are, sir. Okay, I love that Wonder Woman dialogue. Yep. <laughs> Yipes, we got incoming! Uh-oh, and... Yep, more, and dealing with some of the Predators, and this Predator is actually going invisible, and has an invisible mode, but it's based off of her jet. Huh. Oh, and it has a lasso! Oh my god. And, Mayday, uh, I've got a bogey on my tail, and I don't mean Humphrey! Oh, crap! What the shit? It's, it, it, it was given Plastic Man's abilities! Oh my god, that is horrifying. Y yo, that looks like a Predator doing an imitation of me! A better arm version of me! But yeah, that's what Ostrand told me. He said, just go in assuming that they know everything. Because he also only has like 50 pages to tell the story. So he only had that much to tell it, so he went in just having me they all know about him. Oh, my God. Yep, so yeah, now he's fighting off against... Oh, no, this one actually is using its own invisibility, but yeah, it's his, own, it's his counterpart. And Wonder Woman was dealing with her own. But everything I had in that punch, no strength, no will left to fight. Oh, what? Oh, bullshit! What? Okay, I can see the story is rushed to all hell right here. It is! It is! Because, again, I mean, look, we're already on page 20! Oh, look! It's actually writing on the Plastic Man one! I know! That, that, that That's more adorable than anything else. 
It is, isn't it? It's just like it's riding on the plastic bear one while it's shooting. It's, it's adorable and funny. It's like what the fuck. I'll turn it to the nut predator still on board the on board the station. Oh, flash! Like, uh, but and bugs, humidity. I hate the jungle. How fast do you think we can find this dominator? Oh, about this fast. Show off, <laughs> Wally. Uh oh, and oh crap! Flash, Green Lantern, Adam, predators. Uh, I don't like. I know. Okay. I know I don't always pay strict attention during briefing, but since when do predators attack in groups? They do. Yeah, they do. Well, the young ones do. Yeah. And, and if they're hunting something like really big, like a queen alien. Exactly. Go on. Most times they are solo hunters, though. And then I'm getting a vibe that these might be a bunch of youngsters, I think. I'm giving that vibe with these. Oh yeah! Look how cocky that one in the back is. Cro what the like, who, who attacks and who attackers are? But yeah, oh, chew on, and here's somebody to chew on you. Chew on you. Is he using yellow lantern powers? I think he is. Oh, and he goes subatomic. Can go subatomic. You know, I've always had the feeling that the younger ones are probably the chattier ones because they're so young and cocky. They're young, cocky, and they are willing to basically do just about anything to prove themselves. Exactly. Oh, and there's another predator on Bombor that matches Jean. Uh, ah, so you, so you saw him too. Let's get back to the Watchtower before... Uh-oh, the Superman Batman um, Predators... I say the artwork on this is good though, isn't it? It is. Okay, that <laughs> the Batman <laughs> Predator looks awesome. <laughs> so where that is it now? Good. Where's the Predator? <laughs> That's probably just isn't that just a normal Predator though? Uh, which one? The one that? The uh, probably. Is that just a normal Predator at that point. My Predator remained on board. It did not give me much choice. Oh, jeez, he basically caused its head to explode. They came there asking for their protection. Predators capture on moon. We control. Cloned and DNA modified. So these were clones of predators. Okay. Meta predators away. Kill all the facilities. So they create them. So these are that explains why things are so off about them. They're n they don't have the honor system. Yep. Come where you are to hunt, to kill. And, oh, gee, she punches the... Pla they decided to switch the swap people, except Superman doesn't. And she punches Plastic Man's counterpart. Oh, wait. I think the reason why Wonder Woman, it felt off, is because she punched a predator that was as strong as she was. That still shouldn't have fucking, like, exhausted her. Yep. You'll forgive me, but I really am the only one suited to take down on my meta predator. That's true. I agree with that. Yeah. So I am the king of the seven seas, and I have had it with your kind. So yeah, they're putting up a good fight and everything. Again, this is just nothing but mindless action. No, there's one left. Watch him! Now they're all they're all accounted for. Rather up oh, right. They've been known to sacrifice themselves rather than surrender. Rather than surrender. Oh, he didn't, he didn't blow up this time. They tried to throw themselves out. Oh, they took him all out into space! Wait, where was the... All the Predators just took them. I think he... Saw one... I think Bam yeah, brought him up there with them. I was about to say, I, like, I only see, saw one panel of, of the Batman Predator. I would, that's the one I would have rather seen. I know. But yeah, so apparently the Predators sucked himself out into space. Now, can they survive in space or not? No, they cannot survive in space. They're not aliens. They're not xenomorphs. Right. A xenomorph can survive in, in the vacuum of space. Simply because oh, they yeah, because breathe. they don't need to breathe. They don't breathe at all. Yep, but um, but, but yeah. So basically, and that's the end of that one. Short, dumb, but an action piece is what I call it. It is at least I, at least I. This this is more of a comedy to me. Yeah, I mean, still better. Again, I I blame the fact that he only had 45, 46, 47, 48 pages to work on this. He couldn't expand it, and a lot of shit happened just because it had to happen that way. And all, he wasn't given that much update about what the prior stories were. He just knew, just to go in, assume they all know everything. Superman's dealt with them before. And yeah. Batman. Uh, 
So so far, as of as of this story, we've gone through what three stories now? Yep, and the last one, and this was the last time: Superman and Batman versus Alien and Predators. And this you might find interesting. Okay. Now the artwork here is by Ariel Olivetti. The Nazca lines. So there's. Oh yeah. Number. Yep. Not far from the plain of Nazca in the Andes. They're making their way there as a volcano is blowing. It's going. Never against Viejo Abuelo was still alive and kicking. Um, and then they're gunned. They're taken down by predators. But and meanwhile, Batman. Go back. What? Why? But we'll why find out why. These are not normal predators. Oh, by the way, this is done by Mark Schultz, who's worked on AVP comics before. Yeah, the artwork's stellar here. Well, I'm talking about the writer. Oh, the writer, but I just like, why? They didn't look like they were... Oh, just to make it clear, I do have copies, because you're starting to see that watermark at the bottom. I do have copies. Okay. I just want to make that clear, because, you know, for the show it off, I'm not going to do, you know, ooh, ooh. But yeah, but no, we'll there is an explanation. Uh, now this thing was Batman's field journal is annoying. Field journal. I know. Yeah, that's, that's way too... 2335 hours. Access Chrysler. Uh, positive information. Yeah. That's Basically, way too he's, he's, he's being played off like a robot. Yeah, but as soon as they get there, they find these predators. But again, something is off about them. Unprepared for situation encountered. Unknown party determined to be alien to the designated predator. Refer file previous encounter. MO marked differently than previous experience. Hunt so behavior is, not in... They're, they're not hunting! This is another continuation, though? Yes. Of the previous... Okay. Yeah, and this one it says, like, hunt behavior not in evidence. They're not hunting! Superman, he, meanwhile, he's doing something for John Henry, and he finds a bunch of predators, too! Now, they have the weapons and everything, but again, they get out of there quick. Oh, look at Lois there! <laughs> I got to admit, this is much better art. Yep. Um, basically, then, Perry's been, he's been being sent to Peru because of the deal with the, um, the volcano. It's gone active for the first time in ages, I guess. So, yeah, and then Lois convinces to go there as well. They both go up, you know, husband and wife and all that. And Lois, and Perry, looks like you got yourself a second reporter in a job at no extra cost. <laughs> but, yeah, they're there was a research team, but then it's decided um, from the lost scientists. Yeah, those scientists were taken out. So they decided to separate because he realizes something is coming. Our men. Vamanos, muchachos. Senor Kent will be all right. He knows what he's doing. He'll follow us soon. It's um, a reporter thing. Ooh, look at that spear. Whoa, what the hell? That's Sorry, whoever you are. Not very wind resistant. Yep. Uh, that spear, familiar. Many men. They've descended here. Boom! Oh, geez, they're being blasted. Great row. Oh, I hate when, ba when Batman and Superman says great row. I hate when he embraces the Kryptonian religion. But yeah, Batman's yeah. there. I, I prefer it when he's more human. Yeah. He'll be okay. And, and oh, they're slaughtered except for Lois. Why? Who knows? Well, yeah, they'll kill everyone else that ever unarmed. Yep. But they're not even armed. That's what I mean. Like, they've been, the predators have just been killing indiscriminately at this point. But well, again, there is an explanation. But yeah, they're, they're, the two are regrouping, like, what do you know? No more than you do. Just arrived here myself. And I'm here for the same reason I, I assume you are. Clark Kent came here to cover the story of disappeared team of volcanologists. Oh, then fate has worked in our favor. And TDI. These men were TDI. Does that name ring a bell? TDI? No. Okay, I think that, that was something created for this then. But yeah, basically he deducted the predators and soon says, I know predators. Nuts. That jives what I saw what I saw in the B-13 Underground three days ago. This is a Superman who's at least coming off less like, Urgh, predators, and more like, oh, brother. You know what I mean? He's more understanding about them. Yeah. 
But yeah, the, the Terrestrial Defense Initiative, a highly classified function of the League of Prime Nations. They got one job, to track and destroy all Predator visiting the planet. I think that is a reference to something from one of the other Predator a or AVP comics. Possibly. Like, if you've dealt with I'm them before, not. then you know they employ some kind of cloaking device. Damn! Son of a Batman! Help and aliens! Uh, no, not you! Oh, damn careless of me. No. Ugh. Oh, crap. But he's saved by the Predators. Huh? Field journal entries. Oh, yeah. Um, have elected and have elected acquiescence and patience as most promising route to solve Predator Riddle. What the flying shit is that dialogue? I know. Well, all of it does is him going over like the latitude, longitude, where they're going, what the temperature is. <sighs> all right. A nest, a colony. They've been here a long time. If I've gambled pro and poorly, perhaps data recovered from this in-suit log will offer useful insight. Okay, that sounds more like Batman. Yeah. Hey, a suckling. What? The predator child. They're called sucklings. Ah. But yeah, and... Oh, boy. What is it? Am I something new? Something you haven't seen before? Is that why I'm still alive? Well, there's only one way to deal with a situation like this, my friend. My friend? Ooh, big one! <laughs> Thanks. You're different, but you still hold to the Hunter's Code of Honor. And Batman uses attack to knock him down. The blowback uh, modified defibrillator. Well, don't leave home without it. No hard feelings, I hope. And Superman deals with the aliens. The volcano's kicking up again. And then here's um, Lois as she's been grabbed by the Predators. Um, he channels the magma, secures the area, meets up with them. Clark, St. Kevin, this is the worst vacation ever. I know, I'm sorry. I have just begun to feel sorry for these creeps. Then they had to drag you into this. Now I've seen enough. How badly do you monsters want a piece of me? They don't look like they want a piece of you at all. Oh, in fact, I think they want you to follow. They butchered Jose and, and Chaco. I figured they were keeping me for dinner. What are they, Clark? Death's lowest, but hopefully not for the Batman. The Batman? I'll explain another time. I'm just hoping they're, asso they're associating us with him. They didn't realize Lois was your female. They apologize. And that's saying a lot for these characters. And they don't want to insult the sun spirit. Sun spirit? Cutlass chauvinist. <laughs> and they still, uh, oh, they still value the sun, even down here. It took a bit of brinkmanship on my part. But I think I've got them convinced that you're a friendly and an animistic deity. They don't b actually believe this. Uh, but eventually we find out. Their predators are different from any you or I have seen before. Their ritualistic hunt behavior, the macho hostilities we both encountered, they're not so much present in these guys. These guys are living fossil survivors. They're living an ancestral culture that the predators we previously met have long moved past. They've been there for since the Ice Age. They crashed down there and they couldn't leave. But they were in a nice warm climate 14,000 years ago. So basically, these are ancient predators that have made a colony down there and still utilize these, and they had xenomorph eggs with them to continue their hunt and rituals. How's that for an idea? That's actually clever. Do you see why they act so differently? Yeah. There's... They still have the alien eggs, but they don't have the hunt mentality like before. They're, they're far more old school. Exactly. That's why they killed without hunting and killed all those necessarily. And probably why they spared Lois. Probably because in the old day, they probably felt humans were different. And they only went after men at the time, I bet. Bigger and stronger. Yeah. Which, which also came into play in the movie Prey. Exactly. And then here, but then they find out, but now unfortunately because of the volcanic activity, they realize their planet is doomed. So they're hoping to spread out to the rest of Earth. Now they know... Oh, well, I suppose we could just seal them in and just let the volcano take care of them. They're living beings, Bruce. They're not particularly good for humans, so I'm not suggesting we let them continue their, their search. But they've got an absolute right to live. They aren't evil, just dangerous. It was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> a bad one. But yeah, yeah, basically, now this is also during a point where Batman, Superman, his fortress of solitude was a tesseract. Basically, he's saying he's going to actually bring the fortress there 
and basically um, fix and fix everything. Meanwhile, the DTDI are ready to nuke everything. They want to vaporize the predators. And meanwhile, in the Andes Mountain, the um, rocket, they're getting ready to fire off the rocket. No, the rockets are starting to be fired. And there he is. And that big ball, that's the fortress. What the hell? And basically, those are those uh, small fell. You didn't get back in a minute too soon. We're going coming apart at the seams. The TDI isn't helping the situation. They prepared to pound the entire mountain range to dust, apparently. Looks like you've gone. Well, it seems like the Predators don't think we're getting out of this alive. And they consider it a great honor that I, that I die as a ma ma member of the tribe. And, of course, you like the shiny beads. Ha! <laughs> um... What took you so long? I may have lost steps over the years, but I brought my fortress above the um, from above the Arctic Circle to here in utter fi under 15 minutes. <laughs> Seems like forever. It hasn't been easy trying to convince them to stay put. I'm, I'm not so sure they're as trusting of their sun spirit as I originally thought. They basically allow them to get on board, but it turns out they start attacking the um the, the uh, um Kellex and the other robots. <laughs> yeah, they didn't, yeah, they didn't believe a word of it. They were just suiting their own needs. Yeah, they just want to get the fuck out of there. If it means taking over his place. Yep, they just wanted a new place to live. But um, Superman's still going to save the aliens, too. Why? Well, one, it's part of their culture still. Oh, yeah, Batman and Lois show up. And Lois, look at Lois here. She actually knows how to handle Kryptonian tech mechanics. They utilize the hover tech so she can fly. That. I kind of believe. I mean, she's been married to him long enough, right? Yeah, and I love this. Like, you heard you heard me tell your husband there be there could be consequences. Bro, I dislike you things. You don't get me here, Larva. Not under a yellow sun. But you and your brothers will keep trying, won't you? So a bit of old freezing breath. Uh, I will keep you on ice for the transport. Yeah, the aliens don't factor that much into this, really. Yeah, I've seen like my. This is more of a predator story than anything else. Yeah, but we do have a queen show up. It's following and jumps up and sees what they're doing. Knows enough to jump on board and transport in. Good lord, mutiny! So soon, between you and me, I never really believed you bought into that sun spirit stuff. But regardless, this is my house, and you will behave yourself while you are my guest. In fact, I think it would be best if you restricted yourself to your room and check your weapons at the door. Ingrates. <laughs> Now, see, this is what Superman would have done in the first mi in his mini. Yeah, he just takes them out, no problem. Well, yeah, he, he, he treats them like he would any other fucking villain. In fact, there was a line I missed in that mini where he said, "If he had his powers, this would have ended with a slap and a shrug." Yeah, because he treats them all like fucking, uh, you know, immature children. Oh, oh crap! Look at that queen. She has more arms than she supposed to. Ugh. Well, it's an ancient one. It's been around for ages, so who knows? I guess. Uh, Batman's dealing up with some of them. Turned out, since he studied them, he's learned out how, a way to knock them out. I, I'm getting a feeling this whole story is to make it clear that Batman and Superman can handle these things no problem going forward. Well, and yeah, that's why they're treated like they're <laughs> the last story. This is, this, it's, they're treating them like they're a minor inconvenience right now. Yeah. Yeah, I thought that Clark would have found us by now. Your husband's got an ungodly big playhouse. Who knows what problems the predators are causing? Come on, we got to make our way back and hope. And ba oh, Superman, Android, talking to the TDI, and they're giving him three hours, and then they give him. Uh, you know, we give you three one hour to clear out. In one hour, we will finish what the volcano started. So they tell him, and we realize that they have much less time to do that. Flying away around and uh oh, the queen caught up. Um, helping him out. Um, then um, the predators are right. To, they're taking a bunch of weapons from their ship, stuff they haven't used in ages. Uh, clearly, yeah. And wow, look at the trophy case. His, his trophy case is better than theirs. <laughs> yep. And um, oh, Batman is there. He starts to uh, oh dear. No time, no latitude, no longitude. I think this one lays eggs. Oh, yeah, he's never dealt with a queen before. No, this. I think this is the first time he's dealt... Is this the first time he's dealt with the species of Xenomorphs? No, no, no. He's had his own... He's had two minis of his own. But the first one he only dealt with 
A glands, and one of which we see what, a, what happens when a predator, ta- uh, an alien, um, when the facehuggers get on a crocodile. It's bad. Yeah. And the other one involved a woman who actually had a a, a, a xenomorph egg in her, but due to some type of disease, it actually nerfed the uh, the infant. It didn't go any further than being a you know a larva in her. Never chest burst ever, but it gave her the benefits. That's weird. It's kind of like what happens to Ripley in Resurrection, but different. But anyway, I, I thought of that too. That just sounds stupid. Yeah, but then she starts to make hybrid clones of the Arkham Arkham inmates with the, um, the um, Zen- and with the Xenomorph hybrid. So we get a Poison Ivy hybrid, a Mister Freeze hybrid, a Two Face hybrid. Good lord! And then we get a Killer Cock hybrid, which is very similar to the Crocodile one we saw from the first mini. The Superman is better with the aliens with aliens than he ever was with this. With the Predator, I mean. It feels like Superman's better with Alien, Batman's better with Predator. Yeah. Well yeah, he turned out he's also had a way of knocking out the aliens as well. So he tells Superman to shove it in its throat. And it works. Knocks it that out. They have them all captured. They get out of there. Deal with the rest of the Predators. A bit of more uh, the ro- that's the android fighting it. Then Superman shows up, knocks them all out, and um, put gives them the rest of um, the, what can knock them out. Puts it through the air filter, knocking out the rest of the Predators all over the ship. Put them on board their ship, and um, when he flies out, they get away from the missiles, and basically they release them and send them back to their planet. Batman sets the coordinates, thanks to Kellex, and uses an escape pod to get out of there. They make it back. Everything, the Predators and Aliens are heading back home to the Arcturus system anyway, because that's where they were heading, they were originally heading towards. And, well, every, you know, they, the rest of the volcano has been blown to smithereens. But we also find out that, actually, Batman, sir, during my diagnosis of the ship, I discovered a failsafe mechanism. Had the TDI succeeded in destroying the colony, an atomic chain reaction of possible global significance would have been activated. And an ancient distress signal would have been released. So basically, in other words, yeah, if they'd done that, more would have come looking. Mm. Yep, and nuts. Batman and Superman arguing superhero ethics after tossing two species of aliens into space with a clandestine nuclear strike in the background. This has got to be the best story I'll never write. I'm about to say, like, I'm sorry, but the xenomorph species is one that you should not mind killing off. Uh, Superman, unfortunately... It does have that type of viewpoint because of um, what after what happened when he killed. Uh, and it's something that's been brought up in the first mini that Dan Jurgens did very well. He basically after he killed off the um, the Phantom Zoners um, once before long ago, it devastated him so much that he absolutely refused to kill ever again. I'm yeah, I'm I'm sorry, but unlike the Predators, which can at least be reasoned with in terms of honor, the Xenomorphs are not that. They're yeah, basically- but, yeah, but this one, when that first mini happened, it was he. It's still fresh in his mind when it happened. Uh, but anyway, so what did you think about these um th- these remaining minis? Um, this one's the second best. I knew you liked the Ancient Predators. The Ancient Predators are really cool. Um. Uh, um, JLA, the Predator's the weak, the worst, right? Uh, no, I would say the Superman versus Predator is the worst. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. Uh, it, the Superman versus Predator has some saving graces, but it was still the worst. JLA, even though it's more of a comedy than anything else, it was still amusing. Dumb fun. It was dumb fun, yeah. That was, and that was more than what I got out of Superman and Predator. True. Uh, Batman think, yeah. versus yeah, Batman versus Predator three was easily the best of what you've shown me so far. Yeah, that includes the first two Batman versus Predator ones. That one's probably my favorite story. I, I, and because of how well it did with the um, with you know father son and all that, the father son, the artwork was great. Uh, Tim Drake was a lot of fun. Yep, it was Chuck Dixon. What do you expect? Yeah, it, the the whole story it was just a it was a match made in heaven, honestly. And I wish that was the main story and the one that was continued. I didn't, you know, one that had it been expanded upon. 
Oh, yeah. And again, like I said, I never said it was the worst worst. I just said it was a weak way to end a trilogy. Mm. It felt like, a, if, if nothing else, that should have been the second one. And then you brought the one wanting to deal with the predator from the first one. Actually, I would prefer that be the first one, and then they just expand off from that one from there on out. That would have been great, honestly. True, but I do think that Superman and a Batman versus Alien Predators, I think that was meant to show up that this was the final one because they are too prepared now to deal with them all. and well, yeah, uh, They are a minor inconvenience at, at worst. Exactly. Exa- I mean, it was, again... The, I think the big saving grace for that one is the idea of these ancient predators. And even wondering, and they even asked it, I skipped it when they said, will be the home they'll remember when they go back? And that's a good question. How are they going to re, how are the predators, do you think the, old, the predators will embrace them back? Or do you think they're going to banish them? Mm. And, 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 that's a good question, isn't it? Um... And they didn't ask to be taking so long to leave. They didn't ask so for that. So it could go. It could go either way. Honestly, if they conform to the current standard of their culture, yeah, they'd be accepted back in. If they won't, then they're exiles. Yeah, I think. And given though how they were acting here, I think they will. You know what I mean? Because they they were just surviving here, but they still kept a lot of their traditions going, like you know, to be blooded and all that. Yeah, they'll. Yeah, so that in that regard, I, I'm a, they probably would be accepted back in by the the Council of Ancients, which is the overall governing body of right. the culture. They do, predators, by the way, do have a king, but he's so shrouded in mystery that there's never been a story about him. He's only been mentioned sporadically here and there. Where does Greyback fit into all of it? As far as like, where's he ranking? Greyback is an elder. He's not an ancient. He is an elder. There is all right. Elder. All right. And to be fair, um, hunting parties like the one Greyback uh, was uh, leading, that's mm-hmm. not usually the case. Usually it's just an elite that is leading a hunting party. It's not always a – it's not a clan leader, nor is it an elder. Mm-hmm. That was a special case where uh, Greyback, an elder, he's just – he, 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 he might just happen. He might just happen. To, yeah, so, yeah, that sounds like he's one of the ones who's like, I'm still, like, I'm still good enough to join in. Basically, that's what that's what Greyback is. Greyback I, I, is have a, feeling, I have a feeling Greyback might have been the one we, the elder we saw at the end of the first Batman Predator. That's in my head canon. The first one, the one who gave the sword to the Predator. Yeah, yeah. That's my head canon that that was Greyback. Possibly, I, I would. Yeah, that, that could be Greyback. Um. Yeah, because you know, giving because you know, he still gives a weapon to Batman as well. Mm-hmm. The Granny give him the sword that the Predator used to kill himself with. Yeah. So yeah, as as far as predator culture goes, the they have the king and the queen, mm-hmm. but they're so shrouded in mystery that nothing. Now, one has a wonder: do you and do you think they're so ancient, or do you think the case they're their best warriors? Both. 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 Both the king and the the king is uh, there. Supposedly, there's a queen. We are there's an assumption that there's a queen. But the king is older than the ancients. Wow, and he must still be a great fighter. That's the thing is that actually, um, while there is a point where they do start to lose a step, mm-hmm. but predators they get stronger as they get older. I can believe that, and now so I can we- explain why you have the super some of those predators trying to enhance uh, those who are bad bloods trying to enhance themselves because they want to get stronger faster. Yeah, kind of like an elder. Like Greyback, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. he is stronger than the rest of his fucking uh, hunting party. I can believe that. He, he yeah, he's he's pro- he is by far and away the strongest of his hunting party. Which is why I could still believe that the I wouldn't say that the bat the, obviously the predator that Batman dealt with in the first one wasn't an elder, but he clearly was a seasoned. Yeah, so he, I wouldn't say he's an elite. I would probably just say he's blooded. Definitely blooded. I, I, that's why I compare him to the one from the first Predator movie. Yeah. Yeah, I would say that. Yeah, and of course, the second, as we already know, the one from the second one, bad blood. Definite bad blood. Well, he was becoming a bad blood. I mean, he took it way too fucking far. No, I'm talking about in Batman Predator 2. Oh, Batman Predator 2. Oh, yeah, that was definitely That was a bad blood right off the back of these coming there right after Batman 1 and just be like, <laughs> like, what was he thinking? What do you think he was thinking? Like, I'm gonna come there and fight, uh, fight this guy that just won. 
there had to be some connection with the first predator that there had to be because why else would he take it upon himself to want to prove it? No, I don't think there was a connection, a personal connection. I, I just think he, I think he was part of the same clan. He just saw. Yeah. He, he, again, That's what I meant by connection. Probably the same clan. Yeah, his, his only like, yeah, that predator just probably just wanted to beeline his, his path to glory. Yeah. And he probably thought Batman was defeated, came back and won against this, um, this all this old man. <laughs> Yeah, and normally they would leave the victor of a predator alone. Mm-hmm. Which because, is why they sent they, they sent the enforcers after him. Yeah, it's like once once one of once one of our once once one of our kind the, a human defeats a predator, they leave that human alone because they earned the right to live at that point. Unless they try and come back after them. Yeah, which is and which is like what Dutch it. does. Like Dutch, what Dutch has been doing. Oh yeah, they have a reason to go after. Him. Oh I'm yeah, sure. what he's been doing in the background, especially at the expanded universe with the within hunting grounds. I'm yeah. pretty sure now they are like they see him again. Get him! They don't care. They're like, get him! Oh yeah, that's a that that there's a if you haven't uh, listened to the. Uh, I have, the, I have. It's just like right, a, what he took on the female. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yep. And the fact that I do love also how they had a, a what's her name from Predators, um, um, Isabel. Isabel, she is second to him. I'm like, thank you, because that she was one thing. One thing about that movie where I'm like, you set her up, and I'm sorry, it did come up a bit sexist how they handled her in that movie. Mm, you know, because yeah. basically you know, it was all talk, no action. It. She didn't even guess- shoot the one dog. She missed. That's true. There was no, what did she do? The only thing she did was help shoot him at the end. That was it. Otherwise, she was just wandering around, had her heart on her sleeve, and had been um, then eventually not, you know, drugged. I mean, to be fair, she fought through the drugs, so that's, that's true. That is that is impressive. That is impressive. But when you compare it to everything else, she was still made the helpless female victim. True. I mean, if she wasn't drugged, she probably could have just killed that predator outright. Oh. I think so too. I think she could have gotten a good headshot in and everything. Yeah. So. But, but yeah. So thank you for joining me on this. I'm glad we we're able to get all these out. And then sometime in the future, we'll go over. There is one more predator story we haven't gone over, but we'll save it for there because, and that's the Predator versus Judge Dredd versus Alien miniseries. I have heard of those. Have not read them. But that is for another time. That is for another time. You also have all the other the Xenom the stuff. We will save for later. But thank you so much for wrapping up this Predator uh, um, marathon. You're very welcome. Yep, and we will see you all on the next one. Take care.